everybody. Here's another uh, story from uh, this book. Um, its title is A Very, Very Strange Day and Other Stories. It only has about three stories in it, and this picture I actually um, painted myself. It's based off of the Very, Very Strange Day, which is already on my YouTube channel, just no subtitles or anything like that. But I was going to um, read the two other stories in here. And uh, this one is the last one in the story, and it's called Welcome to the World of Walls. <laughs> a high school boy laid in bed, his whirring keeping his heavy eyes from staying shut. He asked her out, open, but she hadn't answered, shut. He had a test tomorrow, open. He felt unprepared despite his hours of study, shut. What if she says no? Open. Suddenly, instead of the ceiling of his room, pitch black surrounded him. He was no longer laying, but standing. Panic rippled through him. He turned. He could make out in the dark. Walls surrounded him. He turned and turned until he found the threshold with a carved top that read, Welcome to the World of Walls. I suppose I finally fell asleep, he said to the air. He looked at the threshold. An idea to walk in fluttered to the forefront of his mind, but he hesitated. Then he thought it was only a dream, so he walked in. As he... S at as he did, he said to the air, What's the worst that could? He tripped. He got up and laughed, then tripped again. He got up and tripped again. By the fifth trip, he began to see through the dark what he was tripping over. They were little boulders. Now that he knew, he could dodge them with ease. But soon these boulders got taller and wider. Soon they became one big wall altogether. The back of his mind began to wonder as he stared at the wall whether this really was a dream unlike any dream he ever had. But he forgot that thought when he saw a path to climb the wall. When he reached the top, he could see where to drop. So he closed his eyes and after a long time, he jumped. He stopped hard and quick for it was only a few inches fall. Okay, he said aloud. He stopped for a second as his eyes adjusted to the dark. There were more little boulders scattered. He avoided them when he could, but some tripped him up as they should. Bigger ones came, and he dodged them as he moved, but, but soon another wall stood in his way. It was almost the same, but had irregular stones, better to hold. He climbed to the top as before he jumped just a few inches fall. He walked forward, getting better at avoiding the little and big boulders. He moved faster, almost running, until he bulked when he came to another wall. The stones were jagged. He climbed it anyway, thinking it was the same, thinking it would be easier than before. But the jagged stones cut his hands as he climbed. The pain forced his paws so many times he lost his grip and fell down to the ground. He waited for his hands to heal and climbed again and fell and tried again, and fell. He stopped and began to pace in front of it, trying to gather his courage and plan of attack, when he noticed there were other walls flanking it. They were easier to climb, so he began to ascend. His, He climbed until he was even with the top of the jagged wall. The flanking walls went on and on. They had no end. So he climbed on top of his wall, as jagged as it was, as painful as it was, and happily and triumphantly jumped off of it. But this time it was not a few inches fall. He fell forever, it seemed, before he crashed at the bottom. When he healed, he walked away. But it was harder to see through the dark this time. He kept tripping on these little boulders like before. As they got bigger, he could see them better. They were as jagged as the wall he thought he left behind, not like the ones before. He dodged the ones he could and bled from the ones he couldn't until he came to the same wall as before, as jagged, if not more jagged. He dodged this one like he did the last, and fell for what seemed like forever, like he did the last. He came to that same wall over and over, until he realized he had no choice. He had to climb the jagged wall. 
He paced to gather his courage. When he realized there was no courage, he was gaining just a delay in the pain. He remembered all too well. He took a deep breath and started to climb. He stopped. The pain was greater than before, but he couldn't go back, so he sat on a jagged stone big enough to hold him and then started to climb again, then sit, climb, sit, climb, sit, climb. Until he reached the top, it felt like years. Now he was a little paranoid, but what if he fell forever like he did before? So he waited for what seemed like years, but when he closed his eyes and finally leapt, it was just a few inches fall. He felt like he grew and ran faster into the forest of boulders. He dodged them all better than before. No matter how jagged, it was never easy, but he had done it before. The alarm for school went off. He got up, got dressed, and stressed over everything like any other day. He took the test. He passed. Her, her answer, he knew. She said no. He laid in bed thinking of the answer she gave, remembering all the courage it took to ask. And our answer made his stomach drop. He realized the test was another stone. She was another wall. His stomach dropping was just him jumping with just a few inches fall. If you guys are curious about anything else that is that I uh, write or do, just hit the links below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.